and Davarka could never bring them out. With its signature gallantry, Team Hazi made 1965 war a naval win. 8th September, always and forever. Pakistan Navy submarine service was a force to reckon with. Hangor, Shushak and Mangro were not just submarines or synonyms for dominators of the aquatic world. They were the answers to the arguments posed on national sovereignty. Before we could celebrate the addition into the families, the war of 1971 was knocking at the gates and so was the enemy's misfortune. Before the sailors could acquaint themselves with the linings of Daphne's, the war was in his room, and so the men ventured into the unknown towards the unseen. The waters were new, and Daphne's were new, and the only thing old that the men could hold was the unremitting reserve. If we go down, we go down all. And if we come up, we come up all. The submarine fleet on the eve of 71 war had four submarines. And submarine Vazi was the one with most endurance. So it was sent thousands of miles away to counter Indian Navy aircraft carrier Vikram. From its prayers and wishes, Hazi sailed to hostile waters. Indian aircraft carrier Vikrant was at Vishakapatnam, and the place had a history. Haunted by the past, the naval strategists on the other side moved the carrier to Andaman and Nicobar Island. Ghazi was ordered to mine the area to target Vikrant on her return. Men like Commander Zafar and Executive Officer Lieutenant Commander Pervez Hamid were leading their sailors during an offensive mining operation when Ghazi, along with 93 people on board, embraced Shahad. Mine number 16. Prepare your number one and mine number 16. Besides the nameplate, memories of success and higher standards of sacrifice, Ghazi left behind the notion that the love of motherland surpasses everything. Most trivial of it all is the love for own self. Those left behind didn't mourn because the salinity speaks that the sea had shed enough tears. Ghazi was a story of fortitude and chivalry. But the sea and the story go a long way together. Amongst the weeds, Another epic was shaping up. Oh, 
He and submarine Hangor detected Indian naval ships Kukri and Kirpan on the evening of the 9th of December 1971. The two ships were searching the area for the submarine. Probably, they had not known that there are only two types of ships, submarines and targets. Lieutenant Fasi Bukhari and Lieutenant Commander Abedullah Khan got down in their charts and confirmed the position of Indian naval ships Kukri and Kirpan. They finally had a chance to take on the enemy head on. They under the valiant command of Commander Ahmed Tasneem, then decided to settle the score. Let them also create engagement for contact Bravo. Silently, they slipped into the anonymity of water, and the water kept their secret too. So now I'm afraid I keep track of all the contact. Instead of chasing the targets and giving the sonar signature, the attack team waited and tracked targets as they gradually got in range. Okay, this is Indian Chef Kukri. Roger, and on the bow stop at 15 in 7,500. Three minutes to 8 p.m. The first torpedo was fired at Indian Navy ship Kepal. It ran. The attack team quickly fired a second torpedo on the other Indian Navy ship Kukri after the pass. A loud bang was heard. Confirm it. Torpedo hit the target, sir. The torpedo had exploded under the ship's magazine at 8 p.m. Go crazy. Two minutes to go down. With 18 officers and 176 sailors aboard, Indian Navy ship Kukri was the most costly wartime Indian casualty. The epic had been written. PN Submarine Go was the first submarine to have sunk a ship after the Second World War. Indian Navy ship Kirpan attempted to engage Hangor, but against all odds, Hangor charged and attacked Kirpan, firing a third torpedo locked onto its tail. Kirpan disengaged, increased her speed, could not get too far. It was badly damaged and crippled. Angor disengaged.